Hello, uh, I am Papya Bhattacharya and this year, in the year 2020 and 21, I will take your English language class. Children, this is the very first class of this session and we will start with the first chapter of this book. Okay, please all of you take out your book. Open your book at page number one. Okay. And the first chapter of this book is sentences. And I request to all the children of class five, whenever I take your class, always keep your book in front of you, an eraser and a pencil. Okay. Whatever I'll say, the important thing, words you will go on underlining. Okay. So the first, first chapter of this book is sentences. So sentences, this term you must have heard in the previous classes also, isn't it? Sentences, a very common word for everyone. So what is a sentence? Uh, whenever we speak of the term sentence, the uh, we think that what is sentence? Sentences are made up of words, isn't it? So when we speak something, when you speak something, we use this, we use, sorry, we use sentences. So what are sentences? Sentences are group of words. So am I correct? Any group of word, uh, can any group of word make a sentence? Suppose I, if I write, at, Look, me, boy, is, Ravi, a. See here I have written two sentences, two group of words, okay. See, at, look, me, and the next one is, boy, is, Ravi, a. So, what, what I said uh, in the very beginning, Sentences means group of what? Is it correct? See, this is also group of words. At, look, me. So, are you getting any sense out of this group of words? I hope no. Isn't it same way? Boy is Ravi A. Are you getting a sense out of this words? No. Isn't it? So, then what is the exact definition of a sentence? What is a Sentence. Now, uh, let me rewrite it the same words, arranging in such a way that it will convey you a meaning. So, let me write the first one again. If I write, look at me. Full stop. Now, are you getting a meaning here? Obviously, yes. Isn't it? I say, look at me. I'm teaching you. So, look at me. Now, what happened? The same words, but we have arranged in an order so that it is conveying you a meaning. So, this is what a sentence is. Okay. Let me do the next one again for you. Boy is Ravi A. Okay. Now I am rewriting it by arranging them in such a way that it will convey you a meaning. Fine. You can make out a sense out of this. So this is what our sentence is. Now if I write, Ravi is a boy. Full stop. Now you see. When I say Ravi is a boy, you can make out that very easily. Ravi is a boy. I am talking about a boy whose name is Ravi. So, by this time, you must have come to know that what is a sentence. Now, we can definitely write down the definition of a sentence. Clear? So, please take out your CW copy. Write today's date. And the name of the topic that is sentences. Clear? 
and then write the definition of a sentence. Okay. Now, what is a sentence? What is a sentence? Sentence is a group of words that has a complete meaning. Isn't it? That is a sentence. Now, in your book, see page number one, a definition is given here. You can write down that definition also. Otherwise, okay, let me write down this definition for you. All of you write down the definition. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words when arranged when arranged write down group of word when arranged in a according to the book I am writing when arranged in a meaningful order when arranged in a meaningful sorry Meaningful, you can write it from the book also. Meaningful, order, order. Up to this also, you can write and you can write and has or make or make a complete Sense complete sense. So, what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words when arranged in a meaningful order and make a complete sense. Okay, it is a sentence. Now, after writing, every time whenever you write a definition, always write down two examples at least. Okay, write down the examples by yourself the, or the first example that I have given you in the beginning of the class. Those two cent examples you can give. Any example? Suppose I am a boy. I am a boy. Fine. I read in class 2 or I read in class 5. Okay. I like chocolates. So, when I say I like chocolate, you are getting a complete sense out of this. Isn't it? They are arranged in such an order that you are getting a complete sense. So, a sentence is a group of words when arranged in a meaningful order and make a complete sense. Fine. So, for today we are winding here. In the next video, we will discuss about the various different kinds of sentences. Thank you.